Hey guys, how's it going? I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo, and today on Anime Reaction, we're going to be watching the third episode of Mahotsukai no Yome. Due to absence, the part of Zero will temporarily be played by Zero. Okay, so last time on Mahotsukai no Yome, they went to London to get supplies for Chisei. And then they went to Iceland, and Chisei promptly gets kidnapped by a dragon. Wacky fun hijinks. Anyway, three, two, one, let's, let's jam. jam! Was that your zero? I tried to think of a feminine voice, okay? Okay. We'll go with that. And I'm a YouTuber, not a ventriloquist. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, uh, Zero had to go out of town for a like, family emergency, I guess. A mm, couple days. So you're stuck with us. Eh, thumbs up, thumbs down, depends. <laughs> Probably more thumbs down. Mm. Wow, I didn't know the counter went that high. Holy shit. That's a whole lot of red. What? People only watch the episode for ten seconds and, the, and when they realize that Zero wasn't there? <laughs> they only watch Zero videos for ten seconds anyway. That's not true. We get a good three minutes out of them. Mm. <laughs> I like those openings, so. Yeah. Trying not to focus on the imagery too much. Trying not to focus on the imagery too much. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uncle, no! <laughs> hmm. Huh. Actually, it does because they're different densities, but okay. Mentioning golden lead, somehow I feel that we're going to get something about alchemy. Yeah. <laughs> but the scale does uh, distinguish. How did I get here? <laughs> You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> Are they just like maids? Choo choo, yeah. Curse of Dragonborn. And here I thought they went to Iceland for an excuse to have a uh, Hot Springs episode. Damn. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. <clears throat> what is that about that style? Attack 3000, defense 2500. So that's what happened. How, but why? Blue eyes, lily white dragon. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Who's this bitch? We have Medieval Dragons voiced by the cast of Kaon. <laughs> I 
No, she tastes good. Bleh. Up. Dick! I can't swim! Oh well, she's a lost cause. Dang it, Little Dragon, that was the third one this month. Damn, that's pretty deep. No joke. Yeah, that's what happens when your clothes get soaked. Yeah. Let's see here, yeah. Probably under layers, full on jacket, scarf, good god. Whoa, -ho, big hoss. Elder Dragon. Mm. <clears throat> And my allergies are acting up like a bitch. Achoo. Achoo. He's both, huh? Those little bitches again. We get it. They have an elemental affinity. Literally, inner shadow. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, but imagine the view. Yeah, that's dope. Nope. Strip. 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 You know what must be done. God damn it. Not everything can be has to be solved with magic, you know. They taste like chicken, despite their cat-like appearance. Oh, talking about the blonde bishi. <laughs> Be careful, random. Oh my god, how adorable. This background music's pretty funky. Gratuitous uses of slide whistles. Entertain them. <laughs> 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 I don't trust that look. 
Get her! Adults have adult needs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with... No. no. <laughs> ten, ten, four from the French judge. So even dragons love belly rubs. That gap, I bet it could fit an arrow right in there. Most excellent trees. Big ass trees. <laughs> Happy little trees. You see, when we die, our bodies become of the grass. And the younger dragons eat the grass. The great circle of life. More like the great circle of Disney, Disney lawsuits. YOLO! It's my imaginary sunglasses. You mean your imaginary douche glasses? That's it. The stupid plastic ones that look like blinds and are totally useless. I haven't felt anything in years. Long story short, yes, it hurts like a bitch. More crap sack backstory.
problems just watching the same anime. Pixie dust? Ah, pixie dust. I was expecting a less uh, graceful nodding out. But still, pretty awesome weekend. Go to Iceland, meet some dragons, do some PCP. <laughs> They even brought Bjork in to do an insert song? Thumbs up if you want to see Chisa in Bjork's swan outfit. Yeah, her voice is weird as hell, but she's still pretty hot. <laughs> Interesting insert song. I'm still waiting for that cutaway where she's in like some gas station bathroom like <laughs> Actually this kind of reminds me of a scene from uh from Fist of the North Star it Shows Kenshiro alongside a dying character and they're looking into the sunset but they're taking their sweet time about it. And drop her. At times. It's an oddly specific amount of time. into a human trafficking auction laying down five million pounds no oh, that was pretty difficult they cut funding to the dragon space program to pieces
So dragons are made of fertilizer? Isn't everything, though? Good point. <laughs> the one chooses the wizard? Nah, I was going to go down the hole of Vanders, but thanks. Lindenwood, Dragon Heartstring Core, 13 inches. Unyielding. Place bets now. How many more Harry Potter jokes are we going to put in this series? Way too many. Hmm. Dragon Mage head pads make everything better, especially abduction. heard of it on the internet. Just allergies acting up. <laughs> it's the drugs kicking back in. Bruh. Well, she was drenching water for like a good minute, so chances are she's caught a deadly illness. Yeah, it wasn't just a downpour that puts you out of action for like two days. She was fully immersed in water. I mean, she's lucky she lasted this long. It's official. The Wicked Witch of the West and the Wizard of Oz was Japanese. It was an anime character. That explains everything. Therefore, I have a theory. Toughest man on earth is a Japanese Olympic swimmer. <laughs> Damn. I mean, to be in water that long? Oh, God. So I just had another disturbing revelation. That means that frees the most badass anime out there. Ah, why'd you have to go there, bro? I had <laughs> oh. That was a train of logic that had to reach its final destination. No, it really didn't. <laughs> you did not have to go there. What the hell is wrong with you? Yes. Yes. There's a lot wrong with me. Finally, on the Hogwarts Express and to the Crazy Cat Lady Village we go. Cruel duty. What, she had to be kept alive to die at the proper moment? So is she ever actually going to learn magic or what? Hmm. 
Or she's just going to be an observer to magic for the whole series. Uh, sorry. We're using a different computer for the microphone today, so... Yeah. Um, it's called a minute. Change what? Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, man, everything's cranked up to the max. Um, is that better, fellas? Is that better? All right. A bit, yes. Yeah, we had input volume cranked up to 100. Yeah, so. see, I never use voice chat on my laptop, so. There we, we go. I always use zeros. Unfortunately, zero's not here today. But we have zero here today, which is much better. Yes. Low zero. If you're if you're watching us from wherever you are. So yeah, uh, episode three of Mahatsukai no Yome in the books. And my, what a very calm and peaceful episode. Right. And despite the uh, apparently playful dragon abduction at the end of episode two. It was very. It was a very beautiful episode. But yeah, there is the like. I don't know if I like it or hate it, but the way that they did the like cliffhanger at the end of the last one where she gets kidnapped by the dragon and then suddenly it's nothing. Just... Eh. It's always still a good cliffhanger. Eh. I don't know. I, I just... I mean, I'd rather have like the series go kind of like nice and peaceful throughout most of it and then actually have a dramatic cliffhanger to resolve later near the end. Uh, apparently this... they're following how the manga ended that chapter. Okay, well, with the manga... I, I guess that makes sense. It's just, yeah. yeah. Huck them into reading next week's issue. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, very visually stunning episode. And kind of an interesting way to do the dragons, too. They're not, like, dragons. Raw, they're... fire-breathing engines of death. Yeah, they're more like... Well, not even that, just their designs. Normally you get, like, like a typical western dragon or a typical eastern dragon. Mm. I don't think any of these were typical what you think of for fantasy dragons. Yeah, they look more like uh, friendly dinosaurs, really. Yeah. Dinosaurs? <laughs> Your mages were so obsessed with whether or not they could. And so on. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're talking about like that, the, the one with wings, the the whitish one, the uh, out of the three. Yeah, it kind of looked like a wyvern, where it has uh, wings on its on its front arms. Mm. Ah, <laughs> uh, huh. really? Didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? No. That's his handle on uh, on Twitter. So. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, it was an enjoyable episode. A little slow. I think, well, this by and large, is it is pretty like slow. That. You're going through a magical wonderland. Yeah, you know, it's, it's supposed to be... I, th I think it's supposed to be focusing on these visually breathtaking shots of Chise observing the workings of the magical world. Yes, but I do, often, I do wonder if uh, she's ever actually going to learn any magic. Or if she's just going to play Observer for the whole series. I'd hope so. At the very least, hope so, Mayrock. Just doesn't feel that way three episodes in. Yeah. What? Well, what if it's oh, like it's it's too core? Okay. Oh. That right. that makes yeah that that makes sense because two core series are generally like way slower paced. Yeah. So it it makes sense. You got a few episodes for mainly for the viewers' benefit. Mm -hmm. Then we'll start getting the story. 
Well, I mean, this is like the story. Oh, it's so just like really getting into. Oh. It doesn't, you know, if it was a one core series, this episode would have taken like half an episode instead of instead of taking up the full episode. Yeah, well, well, by getting the story though, I guess I mean uh, like getting into Chisei's development as a mage, kind of advancing that whole thing forward, and then maybe seeing what Chisei can do with her newly learned abilities eventually. Yeah. Fight off Dark Lords and whatnot. And again, I mean, yeah, uh, place bets now. How many Harry Potter jokes do you think we will have in this series by the end of it? <laughs> we already had, like, a good string in this episode alone. <laughs> right? So especially with the bit I, about the I think the probably wand. more than 147 there, Fanta, because we, we generally have about four or five an episode. <laughs> That's too core. Well, actually, no, he uh, might be guessing a little high if it's four or five an episode in a two core series. A good estimate, though. Yeah, I guess maybe a good estimate. Again, I mean, what? Three want jokes alone when uh, Nevin uh, passed yeah. or turned into a tree. But, uh, yeah, actually, Merak hits on a good point here. They did actually start um, going into the drawbacks of being a slave eggy, which is that uh, basically it's like her power is like turned on 100% all the time and it's gonna drain her yeah more so without well, as, training as, as what's his name said you know she won't last like three years damn <laughs> no Fanta of course not Jeez, if you turned into a giant tree, then who would watch our stuff? <laughs> there we go. Our, our whole subscriber base is trees. Start having to call ourselves Arbor Saga. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I, I think that's about all I had for this one. It's a nice, relaxing episode. I do love this series. Um. Mentally, I'm drawing a lot of parallels to Flying Witch. Yeah, kind of. I, I just hope we There's see There's obviously him. something bigger going on in this one, whereas Flying Witch was just, like, mellow. <laughs> well, Flying Witch in its entirety is what I think mostly the first three episodes of this series are, or uh, have been. Just, uh, again, observing I mean, the still, magical there's world. Just, there's just so much, many more darker undertones in this one. That is true. So, I don't know if I can exactly equate it there, but it is very relaxing. Despite uh, Chisei's dark backstory, and you know, probably a dark, possibly a dark story going forward, too. Yep. Consuming the powers of the slave egging and all. Yep. Oh, yeah, so looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, shit hits the fan next episode. Oh, God. Um, anyway, right. so. Yeah, that's it. End it now. Let us know what you thought of anime, what you thought of our action in the comment section below. Yeah, thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested in joining our Discord, the, ask for it in the comments below. And you're making fun of my zero voice. Shut up. <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next time. time. For fuck's sake.